If you ever get a nudge to pray or a leading to pray, no matter how small it is, please pay attention to that nudge and pray. Your ignoring or paying attention to that nudge could be the difference between life and death. Life is too spiritual for you to joke about prayers. You cannot be praying part-time when we have a devil that works full-time. You will pay for it dearly. Trust me, a lot of believers are living in defeat because they do not prioritize prayer. They do not understand the power of prayer, especially praying in tongues, praying in the language of the spirit. I remember there was something that I needed to get that was really, really important. And the time frame to have gotten this thing was usually between a week or two. I was very certain that I was going to get this thing. And I remember when I applied for it, the Holy Spirit told me to pray about it. But but I was too certain that I was going to get it. I did not bother praying. I was like, mm, this is sure. There's really nothing to stress about. To cut the long story short, something that was meant to take a week or two weeks ended up taking four months. I ended up having to wait for four months and missed out on so many opportunities, suffered so much because I disobeyed the little nudge I got to pray. Please don't joke about prayers. The Bible tells us that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. This end time that we're in is not a season for you to be lackadaisical or lethargic towards prayer. You have to pray like your life depends on it because it does. Especially when you are going through a trying season. That is the season you are meant to be praying a lot more because you are contending. And I can tell you from experience, the major thing that wears Satan out is persistence. Consistency. When you are persistent in the place of prayer, Satan is going to be worn out. The Bible says the effectual fervent prayers of the righteous makes much power available. Don't feel like when you are praying, God does not hear you. I see God listen to even the tiniest thoughts of my heart. I remember somebody saying Psalm 91 is too dramatic. Life is never really that deep. And I laughed. If God could open our eyes to see the things that are happening in the realm of the spirit while we go about our daily lives, many of us will sit down at home and not want to go out again which is why we must always be grateful to god because see one thing about god he protects us from battles both seen and unseen this is a season to be very very prayerful and discerning of what god is saying even if it is only a few sentences you can mutter or just say god help me i have never seen anyone that will say god help me and god refuses to help because he is a god that is merciful so please if you've been sleeping on prayers now is the time to open your mouth and pray and i want you to know that when you pray you're not doing god a favor if anything you are doing yourself a favor because praying does so much for you it edifies you it makes your requests known unto god another thing prayer does is sharpen your discernment it builds fortification for you in the spirit realm and less possibilities to prayer when you start your day pray in fact as you're entering a new week speak into your new week because let me tell you as much as god has so much plan for his people the devil too has so many plans and agendas against the saints and this is the time for us to wake up rebuke and refuse every agenda plot and plan of his i pray that god would help us to be discerning send this video to someone you think needs to hear this